is, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 2, and it reads, Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Kalalayim, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahashai. Ba'ashem Raka Kodash, the Balaners to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone who teach on the rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of the own eyes through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp. Here another lesson. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiel Shai, the title will come. But uh, we'll get right into it. And uh, I'm going to leave the link for this uh, video, news article, in the description box. Because uh, if I play it, the algorithms definitely will get a clip. You can't, you, you can't say anything against Amalek, man. You know? Esau gets offended, Amalek gets offended, and pages get clipped. But we see the title right here, right? I'm not going to say it. Right? But the question is, who are these? Right? Who are they? Lamentations 5, verse 2, and it reads, Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Right? And this is talking about the land. Right? So, Yasharala, right? Princes of the power. They're not in the land right now. They're scattered. And who's Yasharala? Israel being a people for a place, so-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro, they're scattered. Why? The curses. To this day. So once again, who are these? Deuteronomy 28 verse 64 and it reads, And the Lord, all caps, Yahweh, shall scatter thee among all people. Scatter who? You Israelites, Israel being a people for a place. We so called indigenous, so called Latino, you so called Negro. Right? Scattered amongst all people, all nations. From from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Right? The four corners of the earth, across the four winds. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wooden even wooden stone, right? And to this day, Jake's immersed in worshipping false gods. Wooden stone, the wood symbolic of Christianity, you know, going to the wooden cross, right? And the stone is symbolic of the Kabbalah stone, Islam. To this day, Jake, that, that's, what Jamaica, uh, that's what Jake is immersed in. Right? Part of the scattering. Ezekiel chapter 36 Verse 2 and it reads Thus saith Yahweh power Because the enemy hath said against you Who's the enemy? Beginning with Esau Edom These are the nations as well But beginning with Esau Edom Psalms 83 goes into that Right? Because the enemy hath said unto, because the enemy hath said to you, Salak. Let's read it again from the top. Ezekiel thirty-six verse two. Thus saith Yahweh Power, because the enemy hath said against you, right against you, Yasharala. Aha, right, A laugh, laughing at you, mocking you. Even the ancient high places are ours in possession, right? The ancient high places, and where are the ancient high places in the land? And who's in possession of them? Amalek, Esau, Edom, right? To this day, to this day, Jeremiah 17, verse 4.
And it reads, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right? And, 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 the, and the Lord is speaking to Jeremiah. So, Jeremiah, thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Right? Your heritage. That I gave thee. Right? That Yahweh by Shemuel Shai gave who? The Israelites. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right? The curses. This captivity. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right? So to this day, Yashavala is under the curses. Is in a captivity. This Babylonian captivity. Here in America the Great. Babylon the Great. Discontinued from thy heritage. Right? Right? Yasharvala doesn't know who they are. They're not esteemed. They're not recognized. Right? So once again, who are these? These 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 right here claim to know their heritage. Claim a heritage. Claim to know it. That's not scriptural. Right? So once again, who are who are these? Right? According to the scriptures, we're dis we're uh, Yasharala is discontinued from their heritage, man. It's only in the last days they shall remember themselves. Let's get that. In the land of thy captivity. And we are in the land of our captivity. Let's get that scripture. In the book of Baruch. Chapter 2. Baruch chapter 2. Verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff-necked people. Right, Jake. Stiff-necked, stubborn, sottish, lacking knowledge. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, right? Are we, are we not in the land of our captivity? America the Great, Babylon the Great. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Right. This is this is the awakening, returning to the true, returning to our true power, remembering ourselves in the land of our captivity. Yeah. So so who are these? Verse thirty-two. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And think upon my name, right? And what is the name? Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Verse 33. And return from their stiff neck, that's repenting, and from their wicked deeds, that's repenting. And who's repenting? The hopeful elect, Lord willing of that number. For they shall remember the way of their fathers. And how's that? Rehearsing the righteous acts. Right? Which sin before the Lord. Right. So we're 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 under punishment, man. In the land of our captivity, because of the sins of our forefathers. We are our forefathers reincarnated. So we're still under the curses, man. Right? The only way back. Is via the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Let's get that. Jeremiah 16. Quick edification, you know? Feed the sheep, feed the lambs. Gotta be careful with our words, though. Could Esau get offended. Jeremiah 16, verse 4, and it reads. Salak, Jeremiah 16, verse 14, and it reads, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, The Lord, Yahweh, liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right, ancient Egypt. Israel as a whole was delivered via the hand of Moses. Verse 15, But the Lord, Yahweh, liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them, 
and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Right, and that will be beginning. That will be with the elect, beginning with the elect. The elect will be delivered. Will be delivered on this side, in the land of the north, and from all the lands where the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai had driven them. Right, part of the scattering, and how is that deliverance going to take place with the chariots? Right. Beginning with the elect. Let's close up with that. Matthew, a matter of fact, before we go there. Tobit chapter 13, verse 5. And it reads, And he will scourge us for our iniquities. Right? And what is the scourging? Scourge who for their iniquities? Yasharala, Israel being a people for a place. The iniquities of our forefathers, right? And what are the what is the scourging? These curses. And we'll have mercy again, and will gather us out of all nations among whom he hath scattered us, right? The elect will be gathered out of all these nations where we've been scattered. Lord willing, we're of that number. Right? Beginning with the elect. Right? Because Yasharala is scattered amongst all these nations, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth. We established that. Let's close out. Matthew 24. And how is this gathering going to take place? This is the only way. This is the only way. There's no other way, man. So once again, the question, who are these? Matthew 24. Verse 30, red letter, our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Right, now why is the tribes of the earth going to mourn, man? Because the sky is going to crack and Yahweh Shai and the angel, holy angel is going to show up on the scene. In power and great glory. Right? And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, right? With the chariots, with the, with the world, ignorant cause you of foes. Coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Verse 31, here's the point. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect. Right? And Lord willing, we're of that number, man. You know? Lord willing, we're caught up on those chariots. Lord willing, we're of that number. Right, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Right, that's the only way, that's how it's going to go down. Thus says the scriptures. Stay prayed up, prayed without ceasing. Kwame Asherallah, wa abad, babal.